Uh, we certainly see more and more interest in private market assets. And I think perhaps the, the reason for it is twofold. Um, there's obviously the return profile that private market assets represent. But in addition, it also acts as an opportunity for like a diversifying effect in the portfolio. And I think the sort of return profile and the diversifying effect are the two reasons why you continue to see interest in private markets, irrespective of the kind of market cycle that we happen to be in at the moment. Firstly, to take a step back, I, I think it's true. I think there is a sort of natural maturation going on in the industry, and it might be twofold as to why that's the case. The GPs and the LPs are getting more sophisticated and they want more uh, granularity into their, to their look into the investments. But if you think about the fact that we're trying to get um, more retail oriented um, investors into the asset class, um, regulators and governments are gonna want to have the asset class have the same sort of rigor and robustness as asset classes that they're familiar with, which all translates into a need for better, more rigorous granularity into the data. And so what I think you will find is like quite big leaps in the sophistication of the technologies that are being employed and the types of technologies that might be employed to help normalize and standardize data sets that heretofore weren't either normalized or standardized. So I think governments get interested for two reasons. They're, they're interested in the asset class because if you think about government's role in sort of helping long-term savings and investments for their populations. Um, to my earlier point, you know, the asset class represents a sort of a different profile to the asset classes that normally would be in retirement products. So their interest, I think, comes from the fact that these assets tend to have longer t uh, return cycles. They tend to have different return profiles to, to other asset classes. So they're good diversifiers in like their pension systems. So governments are interested in it from a purely kind of investment point of view. But governments are also interested in the asset class because they cover the sorts of things that governments are generally interested in, like, like infrastructure, as an example. So if governments have an interest in like having better roads, having better bridges, frankly, having better housing for their population, governments are, have a vested interest in making sure that the asset class is kind of healthy and looked after. And so there's a little bit of a virtuous circle when governments get engaged in this because you might end up in a situation where like governments are interested in the asset class per se, but they're also interested in their populations being interested in the asset class because it has a sort of um, uh, a, a compounding sort of impact on, on the burden that the government has to, um, has to discharge for its populations. Definitely.